A few months ago, I came home after a long day, stared at the mountain of laundry on my couch and thought, I wish a robot could just do this for me. Well, guess what? That future isn't science fiction anymore. Robots aren't just coming. They're about to be folding your laundry, vacuuming your floors, and maybe even keeping you company. Walking through the halls at NVIDIA's GTC 2025, I had this moment where I stopped in front of a robot demo. These robots, they're not just coming. They're here. Yeah. The future is knocking. And it's wearing smart sensors. Wild, right? And it's not slowing down. The robotics industry will grow by over 20% every year for the next decade. That's not just progress. That's a full-blown revolution happening right under our noses. And it really makes you stop and ask, what does help actually mean now? Is it still a warm smile and a human touch? Or is it a sleek machine that never gets tired, never complains, and shows up at the push of a button? And deeper than that, how do we really feel about being cared for by something that isn't even human? Take the Neo Gamma, for example. I saw one of these demonstrated at the NVIDIA GTC 2025 conference, and honestly, it was mind-blowing. The design is straight out of a science fiction film. Elegant, fluid, and almost alive. And the capabilities, cleaning with incredible precision, cooking restaurant-quality dishes, and even offering companionship. It's like having a super-efficient, tireless personal assistant. No sick days. No need for sleep and incredibly consistent performance. So, we need to think about some other stuff too. Alright, get this. There's a robotics company out of Norway called 1X, and they're not just playing around. They're building androids designed to work right alongside us, like actual teammates. Their latest creation? It's called Neo Gamma, and it's seriously next level. We're talking about a robot built to be safe, smart, and seamlessly blend into human environments. Not just some sci-fi fantasy. But here's the wild part. 1X isn't trying to replace people. They're trying to partner with us. Their CEO even said the goal is to create robots that are not just tools, but partners in everyday life. Big vision, right? They believe bots like Neo Gamma could be the answer to global labor shortages and even help build a more sustainable future. Yeah, this isn't just innovation. It's a whole new chapter in how we live and work. Compared to its earlier version, Neo Gamma comes with major upgrades. So, let's run through them. Neo Gamma now comes equipped with four microphones, front, back, left, and right, plus beamforming and echo cancellation, which basically means it hears you clearly from any direction without that weird robotic echo. And the speaker setup, one in the chest and two in the pelvis, giving it this full-on 360-degree sound field. So whether it's answering questions or vibing to your playlist while folding towels, the audio experience is smooth and immersive. This one's a huge quality-of-life boost. Neo Gamma is now 10 times more reliable than its previous version. That means fewer breakdowns, less maintenance, and more peace of mind if you're relying on it in your daily life. Plus, they've reduced its noise levels by 10 decibels. It's now as quiet as a refrigerator, which is a big step up from the old clunky beta bots that sounded like mini jet engines. Now, this upgrade is all about movement and safety. Instead of traditional electric drives, Neo Gamma uses a tendon-driven joint system, which mimics how our muscles and joints move. That gives it a more lifelike fluid motion. And those joints? Wrapped in soft covers to make it safer for human interaction. So if you bump into it, it won't feel like walking into a metal pole. A plus for household compatibility. Now we're talking robot fashion. Neo Gamma's new suit is made from Japanese nylon, 3D knitted in one seamless piece using a Shima Siki machine. Not only does it look futuristic, but it's designed to move with the robot. No stiffness, no restriction. It's sleek, it's functional, and honestly, kind of stylish. This is one of those subtle upgrades that makes a huge difference in how we relate to the robot.
Neo Gamma's head has been completely redesigned to feel more familiar and comfortable to humans. Think softer features, more approachable design. It's not trying to look like a sci-fi villain. It's meant to be someone you want to have in your home. Here's where things start to feel really futuristic. Neo Gamma now has large language models built in, which power its companion feature. Translation. It can actually have conversations with you in a way that feels natural, not robotic or scripted. You can talk to it, ask it questions, even have a bit of back and forth banter. It's not just executing commands, it's connecting. This one's a big deal for everyday tasks. Neo Gamma now uses a visual manipulation model that helps it pick up and handle a wide variety of objects, even in unfamiliar environments. It's powered by end-to-end -end neural networks, which means it doesn't need detailed instructions. It just sees something, figures it out, and acts. Perfect for chaotic real-world settings like, say, your kitchen after breakfast. And finally, the big mover. Neo Gamma's new whole body controller allows for incredibly natural movement. We're talking arm swings, squatting, sitting in chairs, bending down to grab stuff, the full human range of motion. It operates at 100 hertz, meaning it updates and responds 100 times per second. And it's trained on human motion capture data using reinforcement learning, so it's learning how we move. And getting better at mimicking it every day. And here's the kicker. 1X partnered with NVIDIA for a full week of hands-on experimentation, pushing the boundaries of robot autonomy. And in just seven days, Neo Gamma showed shocking progress. Like, it taught itself how to pass objects between its hands, a task it was never explicitly trained to do. That requires real-time coordination, force control, and spatial awareness. Basically the kind of thing humans take for granted, but it's a giant leap for robots. So yeah, the Neo Gamma isn't just another gadget. It's a glimpse into what's coming. A world where robots aren't just machines. They're helpers, companions, maybe even co-workers. Oh, and trust me, I totally get the appeal. Some mornings, I look at my unmade bed and think, why? Why do we still do this? Don't even get me started on folding laundry. There's a pile that's been giving me side eye for days. If I could just press a button and have it all disappear. Bed made, clothes folded, house spotless. I'd do it in a heartbeat. And here's where things get really interesting. Because as robots get smarter, faster, and more capable, we've got some big questions to face. What happens to us? What happens to the people whose jobs are replaced? How do we hold on to the value of real human connection in a world that's increasingly automated? Are we unknowingly trading something essential, something deeply human, for the sake of convenience? Some experts are already ringing the alarm bells, warning of a growing robot divide, where only the wealthy have access to these futuristic helpers, while others are left behind, widening the gap even more. And honestly... It feels like we're stepping into uncharted territory here. We've never had to ask questions like this before. And that means we've got to be really intentional about how we move forward, who gets a seat at the table, and how we make sure that technology serves us without stripping away the very things that make us human. This isn't just about robots. It's about us. It's about creating systems that include retraining for workers, building ethical guardrails, and having honest conversations about what kind of future we actually want. Because the question isn't if robots are coming. They're already here. The real question is, how do we welcome them in without losing ourselves along the way? Now don't get me wrong. I'm also an optimist at heart. I don't think the future of service has to be some cold either-or scenario. It's not humans versus robots. I actually believe it could be something way more powerful humans and robots working together, each bringing something unique to the table. Robots taking on the heavy lifting scrubbing floors, doing laundry, fixing what's broken. Yeah, I'm down with that. All the stuff that eats up time and drains energy? Handled. That frees us up to focus on what we do best, the human stuff, building real relationships, Offering a listening ear, 
coming up with creative solutions, navigating those messy, emotional, beautifully unpredictable moments that no algorithm can fully grasp. Companies like 1X are already working on the next generation of robotic butlers, incorporating cutting-edge advancements in natural language processing, machine learning, and human-robot interaction. These future butlers could learn your preferences, anticipate your needs, engage in meaningful conversations, and even develop a unique personality that complements your own. 1X is pioneering the development of androids with advanced emotional intelligence, capable of understanding and responding to human cues in a nuanced and empathetic way. This isn't about replacing humans. It's about augmenting their abilities and freeing them from mundane tasks, allowing them to focus on higher-level interactions and more fulfilling aspects of service. Even though we've got some pretty slick robot butlers these days, we still really need humans in the mix. These robots should be there to help us do our jobs better, not take them over completely. We need to make sure they're built and used ethically, and that means seriously thinking about safety, security, and sticking to what we value as humans. Ultimately, the rise of robotic butlers and advanced AI is prompting us to redefine what we mean by service. It's no longer just about performing tasks. It's about creating a personalized experience, fostering connection, and enhancing human well-being. Service, at its core, is about meeting human needs, and those needs are constantly evolving. It really makes you think. As technology continues to evolve, our understanding of service will undoubtedly continue to shift. The key is to embrace these changes with an open mind, a critical eye, and a commitment to ensuring that technology serves our highest aspirations. We must ask ourselves, what does it mean to be human in an age of automation? And how can we use technology to enhance our humanity? Let's talk about it. Drop your thoughts in the comments, share this video, and tag us. We really want to hear what you think. Because the future isn't something that just happens to us. It's something we build together. Thanks for watching. And hey, don't just imagine the future. Be a part of shaping it.